Hello and welcome to Creative Life Japan's vlog day 8. I can't believe it's 8 days now. Hey, today our mission is to paint Daisuke's Playhouse, which I built. Okay, so mummy is still sick, so we've come down to the hospital. And while she's in the hospital, Daisuke and I are going to go and play in the park. So this is quite a typical Japanese park. Um, there are swings and a kids play area and uh, like a Mount Fuji structure in the middle so you can climb up and slide down and uh, plenty of space for playing football or baseball and uh, always a clock, always a clock. It's actually the funny thing is if you take your camera out in the park and start to take photographs of your kid or you know of the park like I just did, um, nobody seems to um, get too upset about it. Whereas I know in England, uh, take your camera out in a place where kids are playing and people get very, very upset about it quite quickly. Um, so that's an interesting thing. Uh, usually if, you, if you're a photographer or something and you ask somebody, hey, your kid's cute, can I take a picture? The parents will usually say, yeah, no problem, go ahead. I think it's a, a very different, a very different uh, feeling here, um, which, is, which is strange, but I think that's an argument for another time. But yeah, this is a Japanese park and we've had a great time. And we got some donuts. This is Daisuke's first Mr. Donut experience. So we're here at Yajirobe and I'm going to have this one which is Japanese soba with tempura and sushi and that will be 1180 1,274 including tax. Mummy and Daisuke are going to share this one, which is soba with katsudon, which is pork cutlet on a bed of rice with egg. Japanese style desserts, fried chicken, salads and fried potatoes, tebasaki. And this is the children's menu, looks great. They bring it out in a little train. Complimentary tea. We get the daikon and the ginger and we put that into the sauce. Mix it around. Take the tempura. This is pumpkin. Dip in the sauce. So it's a really great lunch here and uh, I was able to have a bit of sushi and a bit of tempura and a bit of uh, soba. And it was uh, really nice to have those three bits uh, complement each other for a good lunch. Price wasn't bad and I'd definitely come back here again. Yeah, that was good. So Daisuke and I are going to Japan's all famous Daiso, 100 yen store to check out if we can buy a paintbrush. I have some rollers, but I'm looking to buy a cheap paintbrush. 100 yen, that's one buck. Tray, brush, brush, screwdriver, roller, paint, paint. Okay, got some of the gray on, and I'm gonna go onto the baby blue now for the walls. Okay, so that is the end of today's painting. Daisuke's Playhouse starting to take shape. So the missus is sick and so I am doing the cooking for this evening. So right now I'm doing a risotto but instead of using a chicken or vegetable stock, I'm uh, using a Japanese dashi. Um, but I'm making it quite uh, strong. Um, so it's going to be kind of a slightly fishy flavor mixed with the mushrooms and some carrots. Uh, traditional Japanese white rice which actually works quite well for risotto. It's not ideal but it's not bad. It's definitely the key to making a good risotto is you've always just got to keep it moving. You can't step away for a second when you're making risotto. Um, you've got to keep your eye on the ball the whole time otherwise you're going to really F it up. Um, yep, so just keep it moving the whole time. Make sure that that rice is really sucking up that stock and keep adding the stock slowly. There's no point like just banging all the stock in there at the beginning and uh, it's not going to work right. You've got to, you just got to take the time. You know, TLC with risotto, big style. Anyway, thank you very much for watching today's vlog. Uh, it's been a real busy day, national holiday, did loads of things, had loads of fun. Okay, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow on vlog nine. Bye bye.